Hey there everybody, Milk Knight here, and uh, welcome to the next part of uh, Mass Effect 2, where we're going to be continuing mainly the uh, missions that we left off from, if I recall. Uh, yes, we're going to go and help Garrus, wasn't we? Um, since that's a mission we need to do. Actually, hold on a second. Somebody had an extra appearance or extra costume. I'm trying to think who it was. It was Jack, wasn't it? Yeah, that was it. I was just curious what the other outfit was. trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? Yeah, if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. There's a care award, okay. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. You should kill them all. Let's just prove the points. <laughs> Secure Ward Warehouse, yeah, the... This Clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by! I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not, just because I'm a Quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. 
just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. You say you're falsely accused? I walk into the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. He ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Let's go. Be careful out there. God damn it, I meant to click investigate. Please move along. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can. All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Sip. <sighs> I'm probably not going to bother Let's looking go. for it then. Be careful out there. You never know. This looks like the place. The forger's thug should be inside. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. You're not quite how I imagined it. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it. Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yeah, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? Do they use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel? Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the system. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Look, 
It took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision on the elk burner. He said there'd be one waiting for me. Do you have a service order? No, I got the refund, made the exchange, and then he said go to the warehouse. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit shit was gone. I didn't even touch you. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? There he is. Shepard? Don't just stand there. Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him.
now you see me. Not designed for specialized ammunition. Getting close. Here they come. Cloaking. Shield the Now you see me. Overhead, watch out. Taking cover. Oh. Ah, What the hell is Harkin up to? So, Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. Don't need him hurt to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed, he'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, do you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? 
I have to do this. I don't expect you to understand, but please, don't try to stop me. I'll pull the trigger, and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Use this. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. <coughs> Why don't you just turn around? Heavy mech, incoming! Thank you. 
You were close, but not close enough. So, Fade, couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. All right, all right. Get off me! Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah, I hope we can do this again real soon. <laughs> I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Don't waste your time on him. Let C-Sec deal with him now. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for helping me with this, Shepard. Have you thought this through? You know what you're doing? No, but I'm not turning back now. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sidonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this? Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear.
All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid Sidonis. That was easy enough. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. Been a long time, Captain. It's Counselor now. I had to give up my commission when I joined the Council. I'm glad you came. Though I was hoping the rest of the Council would be here for this meeting, too. Unfortunately, they rarely listen to me. Sometimes I wonder if Udina would have been the better choice for this. Nobody said this was gonna be easy. But I know you. You get things done. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I doubt Udina would echo it. He thinks I need to work on my people skills. The Ambassador knows how to play politics. Just tell him what you need and let him figure out how to push it through. Unfortunately, that usually involves pissing off the rest of the Council. They veto my suggestions and nothing changes. Truth is... I just don't have the knack for compromising my principles. A bad trait for a counselor. I'm still not clear on why you wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Cerberus seems to be the only group who cares about our missing colonists. I feel for those colonists, Shepard. But they went out to the Terminus systems to get away from the Alliance. We can't protect them, but you can. Or at least you're trying to, and I get the sense there's more going on here. The Reapers are moving again, but not through the Geth. It's the Collectors. They're behind the colony abductions. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. The others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. 
You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. It's not like you to give up, Anderson. I haven't given up, but I have to be realistic. Even as a counselor, there's only so much I can do. It's up to you to stop the Reaper, Shepard. All I've got is a title if you want it. I can reinstate your Spectre status. I won't win any popularity contests, but they can't really object. Your title was never officially rescinded when you died. Besides, you're still a hero to humanity, and the Council knows the danger of discounting our opinion. I'll take whatever asset I can get, old friend. Coming from you, it's as good as the first time. Not quite the same level of ceremony. And more symbolic than useful, but it still has weight in some quarters. The rest is up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. I hope you didn't do anything foolish, Counselor. Like try to arrange a meeting with the Council. There could be serious political ramifications. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Cade Nolenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? I always...
always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Change of plans, Commander. Urgent message coming in from the elusive man. Patch him in through the comm room. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Coral system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinate punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. Never seen a ship like this before. Looks like a giant hive. Rachni, maybe. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hard suit computer. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Maybe the missing humans are on it, unless they're dead. The Collectors use these containers on Horizon, but these are empty. Small, like my tank. Bet they begged for mercy.
it's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. The Protheans. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes, reduced heterochromatin structure, elimination of superfluous junk sequences. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the Collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. on the ceiling. More of those strange pods. Hundreds. How many are full? Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. What's this? Commander, you gotta hear this. On a hunch, I asked Edie to run an analysis on this ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Ah, uh, that can't be good. the hell 
hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back out now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. We need a little help here, Edie. Then you'd better get it done fast, Edie. Look out. We've got company.
link to the command console. I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're out. This is a bad time to become an Optimus, Shepard. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The Collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move.
shot.
of time, Commander. We have to go. You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move! Strap in, people! I'm gonna make them work for it this time. Forever, Edie. Get us the hell out of here. Specify a destination, Mr. Moreau. Anywhere that's not here. Very well. Engage in Mass Effect Core. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Just tell me it was worth the trouble. It was. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Where did you find a derelict Reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out.
could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. There really wasn't any other choice. Let's just hope this IFF works. My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the Galactic Core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. And we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later, we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment I to I always talk? have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned I to the Norman? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything.
launching probe. Launching probe. away. launched. Probe away. Probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants.
You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be... No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. 25. Cell at 25. No, no. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Holy crap, Shepard? I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You screwed over my corruption investigation of Administrator Analeas. I was worried about bigger problems at the time. Saren was trying to destroy the galaxy. No kidding. And using our labs for his experiments. Man, we caught some heat over that one. Anyway, I eventually got Analeas fired for screwing an Asari tax inspector, so it worked out. Have a seat. You can buy me a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I'd plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. I'll have a look around. Welcome back. Just so you know... Do you have anything time... else? Anything not listed on... Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute.
Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. I need minimal heat increase and speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. A Batarian training group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim that slavery is an inextricable part of their caste system. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. Shepard. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts. Even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. I didn't know how you'd feel when Cerberus restored you. If you'd feel betrayed, or... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? 
I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. anything flashier. I want something that says, I own this room. Come to Genetic Paradigms and come out of your shell. A division of Elcon Figure something out. Stop worrying. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. They're all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then I had to explain about cross species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Excuse me, excuse me, are you shorting prefabs? Why not? No, you don't understand! I it lost it somewhere like to a clarification of our special report by notorious assassin Thane Krios. While Helium News did credit Thane Krios' legendary skill to his drill heritage, no offense to the drill community. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? I'm on a mission. Can you help I can me find help someone? you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm... Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she Thank can help. Thank you. Have a pleasant visit, Nos Astra, Commander. give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity business, followed by a free Know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The Sana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. 
Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Just tell me where I can find Thane. The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. The towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard.
He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you, and why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mercs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. imminent. Should punch through their armor. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the is not paying you to stand around. Hostile forces have engaged. Uh, Just burn through any armor. Uh, oh, ah! Thank you. 
We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. Might suggest cover. Turn around, very slow. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. They'll be all over you. Is a little information really worth dying over? He's Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. He owes you one. Anybody else would have killed him. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nisana. Damn it! <laughs> 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 
engaged. Impact event. <clears throat> Enemies inbound. This is valuable. We've been spotted. <clears throat> I don't care what you do. No one gets across that bridge. I got one. Mind over matter. <clears throat>
Wait. Before you kill me, just tell me who hired you. Who do you think it was? Screw you. Charming. Kill me then. I'm not playing your stupid games. Well, you made it this far. Now what? I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Nasana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. All the credits in the world won't make this problem go away, Nasana. Who the hell gave you the right to play God? I may not be perfect, but look at you. We both kill people for money. What's the difference? You kill people because you think they're beneath you. They're in your way. I kill people when they leave me no choice. You've got a choice. You don't have to do this. I can tell you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who? Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her. For me, the measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge.
I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected as an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment I to I always talk? have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Listen, I know the data. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. 
I overheard you talk. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. I'm telling you, relax. Dax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. Oh, blue rose of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our school. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? The store's over there, and don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That... no, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was recall. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard! I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But, the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Fair use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. I'll talk to you later. Do whatever you like. You again. I f if the humans will not hold to the terms they agreed to, they must prepare to face the consequences. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. 
One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and... You're not doing whatever you do. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me.
What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. I should go. Nothing to see here. Move along. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Those were my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar! What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. My name is Samara. 
a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earth Clan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes. You're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. I need to get into the Merc base. You're gonna help me. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Got company. Okay, there we go. I'll tear you apart.
didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. That's an Eclipse uniform, isn't it? Turn and face the wall. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you! Now what's this?
Ship above. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't what that Asari wanted, but it's proof that Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We've got to keep moving. things and they happen fear me lesser creatures for I am biotics made flesh you need help you need help or you stand before the mightiest biotic ever yes the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying but then I began to smell my greatness they may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure won't get delayed. All that guy cares about is money. He'd screw over a friend for pay any day. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, having this incapacitated Bolus running around our battlefield could compromise us. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. <laughs> Great wind. Biotic god. I'm... I... What was I saying? I'm... Tired. 
You may be right. Yes, well, I'm tired. Oh, ma'am. Destroy the universe later. So much for godhood. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! There has to be some record of that ship around here somewhere. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. We should head back to the station and tell her what we know. Or we could look around, see what else is out here. Let's give her the name and keep moving. Thank you for removing the Eclipse Threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan. Returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicar to leave, show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. 
I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you just up my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. Happy to help, Detective. You don't have an easy job down here. Tell me about it. Still, you and Samara take bigger risks than I'll ever have to. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. That's a pretty fun mission. We've also got Samara done now, which is pretty sweet. that's left now I think is Miranda's mission on the area I think oh and also seeing Liara I think as well welcome to the Normandy Samara you've studied your profile extensively with your skills I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team thank you from an organization such as yours that is high praise indeed I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work they're substantial we still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. We did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. <laughs> you are just too sweet. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shep. So we're gonna go like see Thane. Yep, yeah, we're gonna do Liara and go and see uh, helping Miranda as well. Also, we're gonna go and see Thane as well um, to probably get his loyalty. Had a pretty decent session so far. It's been pretty productive. Like I can't complain. But uh, I think it's about time we, yeah, we that I end the stream here. It's getting a bit late too, and I need to get some sleep. We'll definitely pick this up again tomorrow, um, next time around. I'm gonna lock in my progress with a good old manual save now. Sorry if I didn't talk too much in the stream, I was just kind of just playing through the missions and, and doing each one at that point. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing um, Miranda's mission and seeing Liara as well, as well as getting Fane's uh, loyalty mission in the next um, stream, and we'll also see where we go from there at that point. Right, that's pretty much going to be it for now. Um, thank you very much for watching. And I will uh, be catching you in the next one. Until then, ciao for now.